Whether this is your first iPhone or you've had many iPhones, it's important that you are backing up your data. And today I'm going to show you how to do that using iCloud. How's it going everyone? My name is Shayway and welcome to Shayway Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to back up your iPhone using iCloud. There's a few ways that you can back up your phone using iTunes, using iCloud, using third party services, but the one that Apple recommends the most is definitely going to be backing up to iCloud. One, it's the most seamless, but two, it's also the most secure. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So to start off, we're going to be going to the settings panel. So you can either tap the settings icon or I'm going to actually swipe down from the top and then type in the word settings. And then I'm going to hit settings there. And this is going to bring me to where we need to start. At the very top, you'll see something that says your name as well as Apple ID, iCloud, media and purchases. We're going to tap that. And then you'll see in the second section down a little button that says iCloud. We're going to go ahead and tap that. And here you're going to see the storage capability for iCloud. By default, Apple gives you five gigs, but you can upgrade from there. As you can see, I'm on a two terabyte plan that I share with my family, which we're using 256 gigabytes of. So at any point going forward, if you were to get a notification saying that you need to purchase more storage, it means the information that you're trying to back up is more than the five gigabytes that is allowed by Apple or the amount of storage that you already have purchased. So there's no way to get past this other than taking off stuff that you can back up. So if it were me, I would just purchase the extra storage because you're only going to be adding more as time goes on. So keep this in mind because you may need to go ahead and just purchase it. That way in the future, you don't have to worry about any storage capacity issues. In order to actually back up your phone, what we need to do is scroll down here and go to iCloud Backup. Make sure that this is checked on. And then what you can do is actually tap the backup now button. What you can see is it shows my last successful backup was yesterday at 1149 PM. So if I were to tap up backup now, it's actually going to force a backup. Your phone will back up automatically when the phone is plugged in and it has a Wi-Fi connection and the screen is locked. So basically at nighttime, if you charge your phone, your phone's actually going to be backing up throughout the night. So right now I'm showing that I have about one minute remaining. The more frequently you do backups, the faster these are going to go as well. For instance, if it's your first backup, it could take upwards of a few hours to get the backup done. Whereas if it's your hundredth backup, it's probably going just to take a few seconds. So as we can see now, my, my last backup finished now at 518 PM. So I know that all the information on my phone is backed up. So you can actually see what is syncing by swiping back and anything that's toggled green means it's going to be backed up using iCloud. So keep in mind, the more you have on, the more storage it's actually going to be taking up. I recommend leaving everything on because I would have everything then miss something. That being said though, this may not be the best case for everyone. So it's very important that you're backing up your phone just to make sure that you don't lose your contacts or any information that may be important to you. Something to keep in mind too is when you're making backups, the iCloud backup system, the way it works is they build on each other. So you're not necessarily going to be able to back up and have different instances of backups. They actually pile on top of each other. So you'll only have the one recent backup available to you. For instance, let's say I were to back up my phone at 3 p.m. and then again at 5 p.m. and then again at 6 p.m. As soon as I finish backing up at the 6 p.m. slot, I'm not going to be able to access the 3 or 5 p.m. slot because the only one that's going to be available is the latest backup, which is 6 p.m. You can do instance backups using iTunes where you can select specific times, but that's something we're going to cover in another video. This video is solely focused on iCloud since it is the most prevalent and probably the easiest way of backing up your phone. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. I'll be glad to answer them to the best of my ability. And you have any suggestions for video topics or something else, make sure to drop it in the section below. I'd love to read them and start a chat with you. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you'd take a second to just like the video. It helps get this video pushed to other people that may actually find it interesting. As well as if you like this type of content, I'd love to have you as a subscriber on the channel. It's something that I am super passionate about and I'm always putting out new content. So thank you so much for your support and checking out the video today. Until next time, guys. My name is Shayway, and we'll see you next time on Shayway Tech.